Hi, it's Jim here from Motorcycle Hard Parts and today we're going to be talking about engine oil, specifically motorcycle engine oil, but the foundations are the same for just about all automotive engine oils. In this video we're going to talk about the terminology on the container, in particular the viscosity ratings, and we're going to talk about how that can help you select the right engine oil for your bike. So with no further delays, let's get started. Engine oil is of course designed to lubricate and protect our engine's internal parts. And I'm sure we've all been there in a store looking at the range of oil overwhelmed, wondering how we would know which oil to put in our engines. One contributing factor to your choice should be the viscosity rating. All engine oils will have a viscosity rating, and these ratings are the big numbers on the container. Now viscosity refers to the oil's resistance to flow, in other words, viscosity ratings rate the oil's thickness. The thicker the oil, the higher the rating. So an oil with a rating of 10 will be thinner than an oil with a rating of 20, and so on. These days, engine oils, however, will rarely, if ever, have one single rating on the container. Single rated oils are more or less a thing of the past. They're not used because you'd have to change your oil depending on temperature too much, which I'll explain in a second. These days they're going to have two ratings on the container. These are called multi-grade oils and they can be used far more broadly because they cover a wider spectrum. So a multi-grade oil is going to say something like 10, 40 or 20, 50 on the container. The first number indicates how well the, the oil is going to maintain the engine in cooler temperatures, which is why it's actually followed by a W, which simply refers to the fact that this oil well, both these are going to be suitable for winter temperatures. W stands for winter, not weight, not what, not anything else. It stands for winter. Now, the second number reflects how well this oil is going to maintain the engine in hotter temperatures. So, how well it's going to work in summer. Now, to clear things up, let's look at this chart which shows multi-grade oil ratings and which ones are going to be suitable for what ambient temperatures. So a 10W40 is going to be suitable for winter temperatures of around minus 10 degrees Celsius up to summer temperatures of around 40 degrees Celsius. So you can see it covers a pretty broad sort of range. The 2050 on the other hand is going to be suitable for around zero degrees Celsius up to 50 degrees Celsius. So what these viscosity ratings are basically telling us is that thinner oils, or ones with a low viscosity rating, are better for your engine in colder or winter conditions. But as the temperatures increase, a thicker oil is better. But why is this? This is because as your engine gets hotter, the oil gets hotter, which increases its ability to flow. In other words, the oil gets thinner as it heats up. When it cools, its ability to flow reduces. In other words, it gets thicker when it's colder. So that's oil viscosity in a nutshell. W stands for winter and a 10W40 overall is going to be a thinner grade of oil, more suitable for cooler temperatures, where a 20W50 is going to be a thicker oil, more suitable for hotter temperatures. And of course there are many different multi-grades available on the market, not just 1040 and 2050, there's actually quite a few. But if you refer to an oil viscosity chart when selecting an engine oil, which is usually one in your owner's manual by the way, and if you stick to a motorcycle brand of oil, don't go putting car oil in it, you're going to be on the right track when selecting an engine oil for your engine. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Motorcycle Hard Parts. Next episode we're going to be looking at mineral oils, semi-synthetic oils and fully synthetic oils and the differences between them. So stay tuned to this channel and don't forget to comment and subscribe.